What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today is the day that I get my therapy for my hands. I'm gonna go in there, we're gonna take off the cast, and I'm gonna try and move my pinky for the first time since I got the surgery, and for the first time since I actually got my hand sliced. This should be pretty interesting considering I have no idea how far they cut down on my hands when they actually did the surgery. So I get to see how many stitches I have, and I get to see how it's looking under there. Unfortunately, I have no time to eat anything for breakfast right now, so I'll just grab food after the therapy. And I have no idea of how long the therapy is actually gonna take. I hope it's no longer than an hour. But I honestly have no idea how much movement I'm gonna be able to do today. It might just be like a little bit of movement. Lizzie's chasing. Chasing Geo because he's got the fake poop in his mouth. She's trying to get it from him. He was just like growling at her like crazy. I think not. Look, he's gonna growl at you so hard. <laughs> he's gonna bite me. Oh! Look, there he goes. Get it from him. Shut it. <laughs> really? Geo, you fucker. Look, he wants to come and sit on my lap. Did you get it? No, but look. Get it. I know. I'll clean it up right now, but get it from his mouth. <laughs> Yo. I was just trying to put my shoes on, and my mom said that we're running late. She called me on the phone. So we're always running late to everything, I feel like. But we're going to get in the car right now. We were supposed to be there at 9.30. It's currently 9.25. Yeah, we're, we're late for sure, and this place is pretty far. Alrighty, here we are. We're definitely late. Um, let's try and go in there and make sure that I still have my appointment. Ugh. My mom was trying to open the door manually, and halfway through opening the door, I hit the... No, 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 I hit the handicap thing, so it like paused and was opening on its own, and it stopped my mom from opening it. So my mom actually had to go to therapy before. What was it for? I had Bell's palsy and my face was paralyzed on one side. Like the entire half of her face was like drooping down because of the Bell's palsy. And if you ever notice when I talk, one side of my face doesn't really move. Like yeah. this side just kind of stays because I had Bell's palsy. But I had to come to therapy and what they did was like we did exercises and they put like a tens unit on it to try to get the nerves to react. Or were you going like the no, whole day? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. This whole was like, mm. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't yeah. really funny because it could have stayed like that. So, yeah. you know, they fixed like, well, I'm fixed, but I still have a lot of droopiness on the side of my face. If you ever notice when I talk, it just. Yeah, I feel ya. I'm just waiting to go back there right now. We just filled out paperwork. This cast is getting super itchy underneath. I still have that iodine stuff on. They never cleaned it off. Bloody. Yeah, it's like stuck. You see all the blood and everything? Yes, it's gross. Ew, it looks nasty. Ew. Hey, they actually got cut all the way. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to see that, so keep it that way. That's what it's looking like right now. Ew. No, you gotta keep your wrist. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta keep it. <laughs> you can't get too excited, dude. <laughs> Getting some water poured on it right now to loosen it up. So you can try and take off the casting around it. Oh. He's trying not to torch you on your first day. All right. Can you see all that? Yes. Uh, that's what it's looking like right now, guys. Woo. So they didn't cut all the way down, but it still looks pretty nasty. I guess it's from the cast. Everything is so irritated. There's like all these bumps. I pretty much have like a rash. Do you see that? I can feel it. Do you feel all those bumps? Yeah. It's really weird. Does it feel good not having all that on though? Yeah, it does, but my hand's kind of like stuck in this position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're making another splint. Just trying to get the uh, cast adjusted for it. We're making one right now. So I guess they melted it to like mold it onto my hand. You gotta bring your wrist. Great. Uh, Right about there. That feels better than bending it the whole time, that's for sure. Where my pinky's still like numb. No. Still in the process of getting the other cast made, and then we're gonna start bending my finger. So he has to bend his finger 25 times. With my other finger? Yeah, with his other hand. Three. I'm bending like the tip of it, the part that was broken. 14. I gotta do this 25 times. I don't even get a hug anymore. Do you feel it? It's kind of like numb still. I, I don't feel me. Pressing, pressing on her or anything. I have some pretty good news, guys. We're in this new cast now, so I don't have to be in that big ass heavy cast. And I actually do have movement back on my pinky now, which is great. So the first exercise I did, I have to get my other hand's finger and push down on my pinky to try and bend it. So I'm not doing it manually, I'm just warming it up. And then the second time, I have to kind of just like try and make a fist. 
with every single finger pointing downward. But I have to have my two fingers here because he can't make a full fist yet. It's too, he can't do that or I'll pop the tendon out. Yeah, I just have to bend it like halfway through. And I do that every other hour. So yeah, I just did it now. So in two hours from now, I will do it again. And then two hours after that, I'll do it again as well. I asked him how he did the surgery and he actually got some sutures and went through the tendon and tried to connect it again. They did chop a little bit of the tendon. So he said, I'm going to have some difficulty bending the finger all the way up like I was able to before. It's going to kind to be like slanted a little bit all the time but we're gonna try and work on that and try and bend it up as much as possible because the more I try and do that the more it'll get used to staying in that position and hopefully we don't have any issues and my fingers not like permanently lopsided because it's bent down the whole time but as long as I work on it it should be good and we should be able to leave it bent up like a normal finger should be so right now I can't currently flex them all the way out that's something that we have to work on but I'm just so happy that I'm actually able to bend that finger right now because before when the tendon was disconnected I had no movement in it whatsoever so things are looking pretty good guys we got some good news and if you guys can still see there's all these stitches and all the fucking the orange shit that they had to put on me when I got the surgery. And I have to come back here Thursday. I'm usually gonna come here like once or twice a week just so that you can check up on me. I was gonna say we should hit the P.O. box right now, but I didn't realize that it's only 10.30 and they usually don't have the mail in until like one. And considering we haven't gone there in a couple days and plus yesterday was a holiday as well, there's probably gonna be a lot of mail there. So I'm definitely sure that they'll give me a call as soon as all that mail gets there. It also feels really good that my fingers can breathe again. When I took that stuff off, it was so itchy that it actually caused a rash on my arm and we also got a bunch of these extra sleeves for underneath so I can change them out I don't know if you guys can see that but my pinky finger is kind of like wedged in there it's leaning right up against my ring finger and it's kind of hard for me to like pull it away from it it's almost like stuck on it so that's what we're gonna try and do is straighten out that finger and not get it to lean up permanently against that other finger and what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier is see I can bend my pinky all the way back like that well I'm probably only gonna be able to bend it like like that from now on we just picked up some food really quick from duncan got my breakfast sandwich and my mom got a caramel macchiato grandmom's over here eating some leftovers from last night yes i am yeah dig in Graham. Uh, you yeah. haven't been in the vlogs recently what's going on uh, i don't know i guess i haven't been around haven't been around what's up with your hair are you dyeing it yes i am I see it's all wet in the back. Yeah, my roots. We're actually headed out again right now. My mom has to replace some plants over here. Uh, it looks like they're dying. And I just set alarms on my phone to go off, so whenever I have to do the therapy on my hand, it's just an easier way to remember. And it actually just went off, so I'm going to do that in the car. Replacing other stuff as well? Well, yeah, because the idiot, this was dying from when he planted it, and then it matches that one, so i got to get two new centerpieces for that. Did he not plant them correctly? No, I don't know. I think they were half dead when he put them in. I don't know. Probably. Plants is up here doing this therapy. What are you at right now? 22, and then I get to 25, and then I have to do the uh, gripping. Yep. My fingers are supposed okay, to be now there, I grip. though. See how it's like lopsided like that? Yeah. Like it's stuck on the other finger. I, I gotta know. try and straighten it out. It's because the tendon shortened, so it's like always leaning over. Just got done my little therapy session. It's a little easier than the first time around, but it still hurts like a bitch. Well, we just got over to this plant place. My mom's looking at all these different plants. What are you trying to get, Ma? I need to get, um, Arbor What's up? What's going on, guys? Damn, Lizzie, look at all these Christmas trees. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look beautiful. <laughs> Me and Lizzie were just talking about this. Today is honestly the most perfect weather it's you so could ask beautiful. for. It's beautiful. Like, the weather just makes me happy. Yeah, it's not too hot. It's breezy. Yeah. It just feels great. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to step in the mud. Well, I mean, I don't care, but... It's just squishy and I don't like the sound. What happened to your case? Bro, let's get a new one. I think we have like plenty that came in a P.O. box. I hope. But this one has your little wild on the back. Yeah, I like it. Like yours, but yours you can take off. This is a case. Yeah, might as well get something similar to mine. Yeah. So we actually have to end up coming to a different garden place. We're going to check out some plants over here. We just got over to the UPS store. We're going to go in there and see all the mail that we got for today. I'm pretty excited. I feel like there's going to be a lot. Did it just get here? You just got here. It's like awesome. Whoa, there is so much. There's, Holy hell. There's more. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> Isn't the amount of mail we have today insane? Uh, this is out of control. <laughs> this isn't even it. it. There's a lot more. There's like more things. Yeah, there's even more in there. This entire back is filled. So there is so much mail that this entire back is filled. It's and then we have... 
I know, it's crazy, and then we have to put them in here. I knew we were gonna have a lot, but I did not think that there was gonna be that many packages there. There's like 30 there. I didn't think that there was gonna be so much that we had to start putting stuff in. The actual Right? Oh, that is insane. You guys are fucking crazy, thank you. Uh, I guess people are starting back up school again. It's the time of the year, mama. Oh yeah. You missed that? I missed the schedule of it because it even kept me on a normal schedule. Yeah, I'm not at school anymore. <laughs> Alright guys, we brought all the mail inside. How many packages do you think are here, Grandma? Like 40 at least? At least 50. <laughs> There's a lot. Let me count them real quick. Okay guys, I just counted it and we have 53 packages here. What the hell? That is fucking crazy. 53 packages. Not counting these Jeez. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get started. First box. Oh. <laughs> it's a samurai mask with a machete or like a um, a ghost face bleeding machete. That is so cool. We can use this as like a Halloween costume or I can use this as like a scare prank. That would be perfect. This is from Fahad and Qatar, so thank you guys. This is from Peter, Christine, and Paul. And they sent over some Toronto maple leaf hats. Those are pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody sent me over like a silicone hand. Hey Lance, since you fucked up your hand, I thought I'd get you a new one. <laughs> this is from Sam Hamelberg. Thank you. Hey, we got a knife. This is from Fahad and Qatar, so we got another package from them. Uh, let's see what kind of knife this is. Oh, it's a, another one of these. This is honestly like my favorite knife and we got two of these. That's sweet, thank you. And here we got... Everyone's sending me like these swords now, but they're plastic swords, which is That's funny. That's a good idea. A lot yeah. Better. We can have like little uh, fights with these swords. They're styrofoam swords. That's awesome. It says, hey Lance, I thought you would stick to these swords so you don't cut yourself again. From Jeff and Rachel in Michigan. Thank you guys. Hey, I see some more safety gloves. We're going to have plenty of these. Thank you. Got two knives. Let's open these up and see what kind they are. They're ballistic knives. Oh, that is crazy. That's cute. That's cool. That's nice. Oh, it's got like a uh, fish and stuff on the uh, blade. That's cool. And then we got another one. Oh, it's pretty sweet. It's, I think it's the same one. Yeah, the only thing that's different is this is purple. Oh yeah, this is like a mermaid on the front. Looks like we got some air caps for my car. And we also have an LED light kit. I think this might be the same that um, I installed on my car. We'll have to check it out. These are from Noah Bryan. Thank you. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. I see a dog toy. We have another dog toy. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's like a little dinosaur. Or not a dinosaur, a uh, dragon. That's cute. Safety gloves. And another dog toy. Aww. This is from Brandy Stevens. Thank you, Brandy. Some more safety gloves. <laughs> We're gonna have like 400 of these, that's great. We have some arrow blades. Oh, these are kind of like throwing knives. And then we also got the shut the fuck up and color book. <laughs> Grandmom's book, Ricky Cook. <laughs> so I guess this is from Ricky, thank you. Oh, thank you. Here you go, Grandma. They sent me a training knife. Love the vlog, say hi to Grandma for me from Chris. Thank you, Chris. Let's check this knife out. That's funny, thank you. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen such a big bag of Jolly Ranchers in my life. So good. Wow. <laughs> That is insane. What else do we got in here? We got Tango Turquoise Pet Hair Dye Gel for dogs. And we also got Modern Renaissance. I guess this is kind of like a, um, oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. And we also got a perfect brow pencil. Hi, Lance and Lizzie. I hope you and Lizzie enjoy your gift. Get well soon. I love you guys. From Brandy Stevens. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. So I guess the makeup stuff is for Lizzie. There you go. Lizzie just cut herself with the knife. Now it's your turn. <laughs> It's okay. It, no, it's literally a prick. Nowhere near. Yeah, well, it's still blood. Got some bomb bags, a whole box of them. These are from Steven. Thank you, Steven. This package is from Jamie Herding. Oh, we got some type of scarf. That's pretty cool. Neat. We have. Oh, oh my gosh. That's awesome. Jello Oreo no bake dessert. That looks so good. Some Velveeta mac and cheese. <laughs> they sent an entire thing of oil. Oh vegetable my, oh oil. Oh my god. She's, I was so thoughtful. They said on a letter so you don't have to go to the store so many times a day. <laughs> Thank you. That was so nice. Funny. Jamie so from funny. Iowa. You guys are so thoughtful. Thank you. Kingdom Keepers. And we also got another Kingdom Keepers. And then we also got a Ninja Remote. This is from John aka Crazy About Disney. Thank you. <laughs> this is a toy for Gio and it's from Jordan Dazzo. 
Aww, that's oh, awesome. Dude. Thank you. This is a package from Brett Wise, and it's some type of shirt. Oh, it's another one of those Audi shirts that says dope on it with the Audi symbols. That's sweet. Thank you. So it smells out dope. This is from Mikhail Carrico. What? We have a ton of these Nerf bullets. The, uh... Not the big ones. It is the big ones. The Elite. We actually have an Elite Nerf gun, but we lost all the bullets for it. Thank you. Wow, there's a bunch of these. We got the Mega Darts. We got some Coffee Crisp. Huge thing of Kit Kat. Arrow. A bunch of toy cars. Wow, there's actually a couple of these. That is sweet, thank you. With this package, we got a nice hint of Lizzie's blood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> From her, she was I'm just bleeding. I'm not touching it. Oh, we got some knife cases. Ooh. Sweet. This is from Abby, thank you, Abby. And here we got a knife. Oh, this is similar to the um, other one that we got. Uh, yeah, that but it's got like a cool like crystal effect right here. Oh, sweet, thank you. And here we got a bunch of bracelets. They say, believe on it, dream. Believe, and there's like a uh, tree symbol. Those are pretty cool. This is from Ricky Cook. Thank you, Ricky. And here it looks like we got something wrapped in here. And then we also got knives. Hi, Lance, enjoy your gift. Zippo for Grandma, one for Lizzie, and two for you. Look at this Zippo lighter for Grandma. Nice, thank you very much. That's cool. <laughs> and we also got another one of these knives. That's pretty sweet. And then, oh, we got another one of these Karambe knives. This one is so sick. In this package, we have a ton of white Nerf bullets. That's pretty sweet. We actually don't have any white Nerf bullets, so that's pretty cool. Another knife. Let's open it up. No way. This is actually an engraved knife, and it says Lance 210 on it. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. Nice. Can I see? I'm trying to open it without hurting myself. Look at that, guys. That is friggin' sweet. Thank you. This is from Mikhail, and now I know why they sent me over those mega bullets. They sent me over this insane Nerf gun. This is so cool. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna put that in my room for when you come in. Yeah, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of candies in here. Let's see what kinds we got. We got M&M's, Malt Sisters, Snickers, Crunch Bar, Bubbly, Ferrero Rochers, Icebreaker Sours, Fake Blood. Oh, <laughs> this can come in handy. <laughs> Mentos. And we also got some of these uh, with chew sticks. And cotton bubble gum. Ooh. This box is from Emily. Thank you, Emily. Whoa, I almost broke that. Oh. Jelly bean draft, beer flavored jelly beans. Oh, that's different. This is from Brandon Kramer. <laughs> Look at all this ramen. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I think it's all ramen. Oh, we got some other stuff in here as well. So we got ramen, we got <laughs> some type of mask, we have some type of lava lamp nightlight, and we have this USB cord that has all these different outlets on it. So it's got an aux cord, it has a friggin' lightning port, it has one of the old iPhone charger ports on it. That is so cool. That'll definitely come in handy. Thank you. And we also have like a little pocket knife in here as well. Salad knife. Oh, so it's kind of like a plastic knife for cutting your salad. That'll come in handy. Put that in the kitchen. Yeah. Put that in the right to work. Oh, crap. We got a bunch of bath bombs. I love bath bombs. Those are sweet. I've never actually used these before. I kind of want to try it out. I feel like it's more of like a girl thing, but I definitely want to use it. It is. We can look at it. It's really cool when it starts to dissolve. Dude, they smell amazing. Thank you. And here we got some more safety gloves. We also have some more safety gloves, and these are from Teresa Neely. Thank you, Teresa. This is from Phil Banting. And it looks like we got some knives in here. The blue one is for Lizzie. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. And then I got one as well. That's awesome. This is from Marquise Anderson. <laughs> we, got a, we got an air horn. This is from Ricky Cook. We got another package from Ricky. Hey, do we got a knife? Oh, it's another one of those Batman knives. Looks like we got another toy for Gio. It's like a Aww. big turkey. <laughs> I gotta get him a bigger toy box. <laughs> yeah, it squeaks too. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> hey, we got another knife. Is this one of those uh, fake ones as well? The plastic knives. Everyone's sending me these training knives so I don't hurt myself anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, a Nerf gun. <laughs> that is sweet. Four blasters in one. Shoots up to 90 feet. The Retaliator, that is so cool. 
I love Nerf guns. This is from Dan. Thank you, Dan. This is from Tommy H. Jurgen Jr. And he sent over this card of them like doing operation on some dude. It just goes to show you almost anything can be fixed with duct tape. And he sent over this pair of scissors. That's so funny. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much once again for sending over all this stuff. You guys don't have to do this. You guys are so kind. And we really appreciate everything you guys send over. You smelling the bath bombs? I love bath bombs. Look at all this trash. <laughs> It's gonna be all on me and grandma because... Well, I'll help out the best I can, yeah. My timer went off during the P.O. Box opening, so I gotta do my little therapy again. I just wrapped up my little therapy session and grandma was looking at it all disgusted. Like she was about to throw up. I can't. <laughs> I ain't been right since you got hurt. Yeah. Okay, guys. Believe it or not, I just passed out for like the past hour. Lizzie actually had to edit her video, so I let her do that, and I just knocked out completely on the couch. My mom actually recorded me sleeping and put it on her Instagram. That's so funny. Okay, so I have the rest of Gio's toys in my shirt so he doesn't see them, but it's time to give Gio his new toys. <laughs> Want a new toy? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> I got more in my shirt. <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> he has the same thing right there. <laughs> Gio, what is it? <laughs> Gio took my grandmom's slipper. Where did he go? He's over there. <laughs> Grandma was like chasing him down for the slipper. Look. Michael Kors. Get out before I get out. <laughs> Hands are full of shit. I got chased a slipper. <laughs> oh, it's all wet. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's wearing the Lance 210 shirt. Air horns. <laughs> okay guys, so it is that time of the week where I have to jump on my weekly business call. I'm gonna jump on this call for about an hour. But to you guys, it's like two seconds. So I was just on a business call for like the past hour and I came outside to look for Lizzie. I didn't know where she went and she was just laying on the couch. What's going on? Bored? Yeah, feels so good out. You wanna arm wrestle? <laughs> Kidding, things you can't do. Looks like it's about to storm, guys. It's getting really windy. Right now, me and Lizzie really wanted to make this Oreo cake dessert. It looks bomb. What? You really wanted to make it. Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> I'm kidding. You wanted to do it, too. When? You just asked me if I wanted to run, and then he no. said... <laughs> Make them think I'm not fat. <laughs> All right, so you wanted to make it, right? Yes. I to make it. <laughs> Here's all the ingredients that come inside. We got the Oreo pieces, the no bake Jello crust mix, and then we also got the filling. I just gotta get out the butter, have the milk out. Gio's trying to get some cake mix too. So we got the melted butter, then we add the crust mix, stir it around, and that makes the crust. And then we have to pat that into our bowl. Right after that, we have to put the milk in with the filling mix and stir that around. Me and Lizzie both agreed that this kind of reminds us of the ice cream mix. It kind of <laughs> smells like it too. Mm. Yeah, that is a lot. Yeah. So it's starting to get really thick right now, but we need to blend it in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you use this before, Ma. Yeah, I used it at Christmas time to make cookies. Oh, it's pretty convenient. Look how thick it's getting. Ooh, this is looking wow. good. <laughs> We got the crust all in here now. Just gonna pour that on top, and I think we actually have to mix some of these Oreos in between. We were about to pour that stuff into here, but we actually forgot that it told us to pour half of the bag of Oreos into the mix. So we're getting it stirred up right now. Oh, that looks amazing. There we go, it looks pretty good. Now we just have to throw it in the fridge for about an hour. An yeah. hour? Yeah. Oh, we can freeze it for like... 30 minutes? Probably. Yeah. It would probably taste so much better if we do it the correct way. <laughs> yeah, we never follow the directions all the way. <laughs> See, that's the thing about us. We'll follow the directions all the way through and then we get to the end and we're like, shit, we can't eat it now, so we'll just try and rush through it and put it in the freezer. Ends up making it terrible. So let's just do it the correct way this time. I'll set an alarm for an hour. There you go. I'll play fast, boy. Go get it. Oh, that was a terrible round. Really? He hit that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? I'm not a good left-hand thrower, all right? <laughs> Here. Yeah. <gasps> Gio, go get it! It landed right next to him. What is wrong with you? Go get it! Go get it! Where's he going? It's over here, Gio! 
So this seems to be done right now. We just took it out of the fridge. It honestly looks so good. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh. I think I found a new favorite dessert. This is bomb as fuck. It is so good. Not even kidding guys, I destroyed that piece almost instantly. I'm coming back for seconds. This thing is gonna be gone within like the next 10 minutes. Lizzie's on her piece still. How do you like it? It's so good. You're gonna need two boxes so you can make one big one. I know. <laughs> what do you want your tenth piece, Lizzie? Tenth. <laughs> My first. Yeah, Lizzie didn't even eat nearly as much as me yet. <laughs> what is he gonna eat, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, ramen noodles and mac and cheese. I love both of them. Yeah, I feel the stomach ache starting to kick in. How do you like it, Ma? Well, you're forcing me to eat it. I told her I was like, Mom, you gotta eat this because if not, I'm gonna destroy the entire thing. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Well, Gio's trying to get some. Yep. As soon as I put the camera on you, boy, you dropped down. He was like climbing all the way up here. His paws were like touching right here. Want a Jolly Rancher? Yeah, let me just eat the whole bag and become <laughs> Okay, you just hit me in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I low key want to go on a run right now. You down? Yo, guys. We like, just ate an Oreo. I know. Whatever. Like, I can run now. You see this? Look, I'm like the uh, like a robot. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, so you can go for a run after I have a Jolly Rancher. Hi, Gio! Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> I saved my arm. I saved my arm. Come here. Whoa! <laughs> I caught him in midair. Hi, he wants baby. I know, he wants these Jolly Ranchers. Your heart's beating so fast. All right, guys, I know what a lot of you are thinking right now. One, why does he have his shirt off? And that's because I'm about to go for a run. And I don't like running in my shirt because I feel like it gets super sweaty and it just feels super uncomfortable on me when I'm sweating that much. And another thing is, you guys are gonna be like, why the fuck are you going for a run when one, you just ate an Oreo cake and you just got surgery done? Now, let me explain those reasons. The Oreo cake, I don't really have much of an excuse. I'm just a fat ass. <laughs> 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 and so even though I just got surgery done I really really do want to start losing some weight guys it's getting pretty bad and especially since I went to playlist this weekend I seen myself when I was taking pictures with people and I just look so bloated and just nasty looking I don't like the way I look right now so I want to change that so even though I just got this done who fucking cares I'm not gonna let it stop me it's probably gonna be a little irritating and uncomfortable having this on while I am running but I don't care at the end of the day I just want to try and lose some weight. So right now we're going to take my mom's car over to the park. There's a park like right around the corner, so we're going to run over there. Probably a mile at least. What you the say? only thing that sucks is that if you wanted to go to the gym, you can't work your arms I know. because of your hand. Unless you want, oh, and then it, But listen, <laughs> this is more motivation for me to actually lose weight. Because then before, I was just like, oh, well, I'll just go to the gym and lift. Well, I can't now, so might as well run, you know? I am one of the most hypocritical people when it comes to losing weight because I start, like, trying to lose weight for, like, two days, and then I just go out and eat, like, all this fucking crazy shit. And it just ruins my diet right off the bat. So it's like I almost worked for nothing those previous days. I just need some motivation. I need something to keep me in that spirit of trying to lose that weight. I'll be your motivation. Will you? Yes. We just have to like consistently motivate each other exactly. and there can't be any excuses as to why we can't go and run that day. That's what's got to happen because the second you make one excuse is the second like... It all goes down. Exactly. And then the next day is an excuse and the next day after that's an excuse and... So used to making excuses you just don't have a real reason as to why you want to go. Exactly. So let's fucking go there. Let's start running. And I know I eat shitty foods. That's one thing I need to slow down on. It's not going to happen right away guys. It's something that I just consistently over time I'll just start eating healthier and stop eating it as bad as I am eating right now we just got to the park area it is so gorgeous out right now guys I originally thought we were supposed to get a storm earlier it doesn't look like it's happening anymore but this breeze is honestly just perfect like I couldn't ask for better weather right now hopefully I have a good run I think I will and let's get started just wrapped up our little run I think we ran a little bit over a mile definitely a good run it feels so good out here it's actually starting to get super dark out and uh, I think we're gonna head back right now you saw it and still got scared that's just sad <laughs> oh oh my gosh guys I n I'm not even kidding I just did like a two-minute outro and I was talking about all these things so there's something wrong with my camera right now you guys know how I do the outro and I like hit the camera well my camera's super fucked up right now. I definitely need to get a new one. But whenever I do that, it like erases the file completely. Like it, the camera shuts off. 
erase the entire file. I'm so fucking stupid right now. I can't even say what I want to say anymore, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video, and I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna have to lately hit it. <laughs> he me! What? What is going on? Stop! You choking her? <laughs> it tickles.